Why is it necessary to shun the person who disassociates? And before you answer, let me clarify one thing. The person who disassociates, both, both you and Mr. Brown have now said it, um, you said that they shun the organization. They don't necessarily at all. You're talking about someone who just doesn't want to be part of it anymore. They still want to have their friends, their family, um, and, and everything else, their social network. So accept that kind of person, but it disassociates. Now, why is it necessary to have a policy that everyone else must now shun them? The individual can choose. They, they can go to another congregation, take that action. I could only repeat what I've said, Your Honour. No, no, but it's cruel, isn't it? To take away, by reason of the rules that you impose, all of their social structure. That's cruel. Does not need to put themselves in a position making, Your Honour. Well, you haven't answered the point, but we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> That's cruel.